morning prayer for Wednesday begins on page 401 in your prayer books. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the feast of St. Simon and St. Jude, Apostles and Martyrs. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle, a song of God's grace. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world. We should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the beloved. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Psalms for today are Psalms 125 and 126, page 361. Psalm 125. Those who put their trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. As the mountains stand about Jerusalem, so stands the Lord about his people. From this time forward forevermore. For the scepter of wickedness shall have no sway over the land apportioned to the righteous. Lest the righteous set their hands to do evil. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good. To those that are upright in heart. As for those who turn aside to crooked ways, let the Lord lead them away with the evildoers, and in Israel let there be peace. Psalm 126. When the Lord turned again the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those restored to life. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord has done great things for them. Truly the Lord has done great things for us, and therefore we rejoice. Turn again our fortunes, O Lord, as the streams return to the dry south. Those who sow in tears shall reap with songs of joy. They that go out weeping, bearing the seed, shall come again in gladness, bringing their sheaths with them. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words, and actions be well-pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. morning's reading for the Feast of Saints Simon and Jude is from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verses 11 to 18. The Lord said to me, Faithless Israel has shown herself less guilty than false Judah. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return, faithless Israel, says the Lord. I will not look on you in anger, for I am merciful, says the Lord. I will not be angry forever. Only acknowledge your guilt, that you have rebelled against the Lord your God, and scattered your favours among strangers under every green tree, and have not obeyed my voice, says the Lord. 
Return, O faithless children, says the Lord, for I am your master. I will take you, one from a city and two from a family, and I will bring you to Zion. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you in knowledge, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. And when you have multiplied and increased in the land in those days, says the Lord, they shall no longer say, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. It shall not come to mind or be remembered or missed, nor shall another one be made. At that time, Jerusalem shall be called the throne of the Lord, and all nations shall gather to it to the presence of the Lord in Jerusalem, and they shall no longer stubbornly follow their own evil will. In those days the house of Judah shall join the house of Israel, and together they shall come from the land of the north to the land that I gave your ancestors for your heritage. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Second reading is from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 11 to 22. So then, remember that at one time you Gentiles by birth, called the uncircumcision, by those who are called the circumcision, the physical circumcision, made in the flesh by human hands, remember that you were at that time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ, for he is our peace. In his flesh he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall, that is, the hosti hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and ordinances, that he might create in himself one new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace, and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, thus putting to death that hostility through it. So he came and proclaimed peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near, for through him both of us who have access in one spirit to the Father. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. In him the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. And now the canticle, Te Deum Laudamus. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the Virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
prayer for this week. Almighty and everlasting God, give to us the increase of faith, hope, and love, and that we may obtain what you promise. Make us to love what you command through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So we pray this morning for all those businesses and organizations that today will open their doors to their customers and clients. And we give thanks for this. And we give thanks for the life which will inevitably be breathed back into our community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our world. We continue to pray especially for those parts of the world less fortunate than ourselves, where the coronavirus is still running rife. We pray for wisdom, for strength and for courage. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for families and households, praying that the barriers of anger and division may be broken down through understanding and forgiveness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the poor, the oppressed and the brokenhearted, that through our compassionate help and prayers, their fear and anguish may be transformed into hope and joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In our diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray today for the Ministry to the Defence Force, for Bishop Grant Dibdom, and for all chaplains and all members of the Defence Force. We pray for the Mission to Seafarers, for its Chair, Neil Edwards, and for its Chaplain, chaplain Omfrey Pune. We pray for the Parish of St Aidan's Noble Park, for Gerald Lewes, and for all the people of that parish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our own parish of all saints with St. Catherine, praying for the entire parish family here. But especially in our cycle of prayer, we pray for Stephen Miles, for Anne and Bob Moy, and for Ron and Viv Neary. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to, you, to your service and to live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another and in, and, and in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen. 